What's going on everybody? It is time for Baby Hold Your Hand or Baby Please Hold My Hand for this episode. Now, I believe, I believe from my spoilers review that this is probably going to be a 2.5er episode. So it's not going to end the fight for this episode. With that being said though, I'm extremely still very excited for this. This is probably going to be a big episode. I, I, again, I don't know. And I'm just excited to get into this. This is Kubo's favorite character, Mayuri, Nemu, Panida. I'm just excited. I want to get into this. I've got nothing more to say other than what I haven't said in the spoilers video already. So if you want to see more reactions, hit that like, that subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's get into the review, shall we? Oh, sorry, reaction, shall we? I'm just excited to get into this one. So let's go. Oh. We go in on a flashback of Iri versus Renji. Okay. Obviously, we don't need to see all the. Oh, oh. Was that added? The blood. Oh, okay. This is new. Okay, so we see two fights simultaneously. Lile and. Okay, now we're gonna get into to everyone getting towards Panida now. That Mayuri caught up quick. There we go. Big. Panida. People have finally get to see what this guy can do. Or thing. Oh, of course. Kimpatch is like, slice, slice, slice. Okay. What's Kimpatch gonna do? Hang on, Mayuri caught something. Oh. We saw some sort of effect. I lost an arm, that's up. Eh? I lost an arm. Oh, okay. So he felt the damage. But also, Panida took a hit. Did that hurt, little bro? Seems so. This seems a little bit fast-paced. Eh? Hey? This wasn't in the manga. Okay. They're showing off a little bit of what he can do already. In the manga, it was a little bit more ambiguous still. Interesting. Little, little changes, little changes, but very interesting. His head got bigger, what's going on here? Yeah, ma'am. Very creepy indeed. That's why it's the perfect matchup for Mayuri, right? Oh, Nemu's speaking? Having an opinion? Mmm, that's when you know it's serious, when Nemu starts moving. Oh, nice, the 360 spin! <laughs> hey, they did it nicely. Oh, it's... It's... Yeah. Oh, nice. This is a Wakabayashi uh, storyboard, right? I felt like that was zoomed in a little bit. Please, Wakabayashi, stop zooming in. <laughs> that is pretty chatty to just rip out your arm without hesitation. And to even have the strength to do that too. Sorry, I'm gonna stop the bleeding. I mean, he's not bleeding now. <laughs> Blu-ray change, question mark? Come on, Kampachi, let's do more. I mean, hey, who's quicker, Kampachi or Panida? Nice. Hit him right in the head. Though he didn't go much deeper. Oh. Legs are snapped. Oh. Oh, he's still going. Nice save by Mayuri. Damn. Even when paralyzed, Kampachi's got strength. God. Damn. Damn. They did that. Good. I felt that. Oh. Damn, he's figured out your abilities. Nerves. I've heard that quenches turn Reishi into power by pouring it into their veins. Mayuri man, he's quick on his feet. Especially when figuring things out. Ooh, acid on the nerves. Oh, a voice. Yeah, man, that's definitely gonna hurt. I can feel this this voice acting. It's good so far. I can't wait to hear what Panada sounds like. I like the light in there as Mayuri walk close to Kampachi. And Kampachi's still moving, man. Even with the anesthetic, this man is a monster. I love Mayuri always using an opportunity to improve. I love that. Goes right back to the parallels of like the Zala Pro versus Mayuri fight about perfection. Love that. <laughs> it's so sad to see Kampachi looking like that, man. Domain expansion? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. 
I love my eerie faces, man. They're perfect. Oh, the pupils are going crazy. Why do I feel the voice acting going hard on this? Oh, are we getting the reveal? We are. Who's this bad boy? It's a hand, brother. Yo! But where's the sound coming from? <laughs> The Soul King's left arm. The progression. Again. Zooming in. That was okay. Wakabarashi loves zooming in on shots, doesn't it? For CG, it's alright, man. I saw a lot of people on social media complaining about the CG, but it's exactly what you expect an unnatural thing looking unnatural so i personally like it but we'll see we'll see how the episode goes you know what i think it is i think it's the highlights it's the highlights that makes it look different than everything else guy sounds like broly man and the uh the, the poison umbrella well, that was used twice. That's different. Oh! He spoke. That wasn't the voice I was expecting, if I'm honest. My man is happy. <laughs> Damn. Oh, left arm. That's not my name. Okay. Haruninda. Pankajas. Paninda Pankajas. Paninda Pankajas. Okay. I gotta try and remember that. Pankajas. Pankajas is fine. Paninda. Paninda. Yeah, could you imagine this hand being used in 2D? It would be annoyingly difficult. Unless you're a fan of drawing hands, then it's a wet dream, but. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Mayuri is loving this way too much. Okay. Let's see Mayuri do some madness in, shall we? Okay. Liking this. This is good storyboarding so far. Except for when it zooms. <laughs> Ayy. Man's Spider-Man all of a sudden. Oh, he's using the fucking uh, Attack on Titan gear. <laughs> Ayy, nice. This is our Bleach version of Attack on Titan. I love it. <laughs> That's a bit of a spoiler right there in the title card. The compulsory. C for the compulsory. We'll handle killing his majesty. Well, you take hush work. What? The turtle, you're supposed to be the logical one. Giselle, stop. 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 And the gear is off. Boom. Hoverboards. Nice little callback. If you spread out your nose throughout the ground. That's because I didn't step on it. Yeah. Oh. Slightly creepy. How did you make that then? Because that looked like an XO Reaper. Damn, man blew off his pinky. No pinky promises for you, buddy. Oh. oh. Man reconstructed the nerves and blood vessels and muscles before Panida could turn it into fresh meat. Shoddy work. I mean, mate, you're a surgeon's wet dream. It's an interesting voice. I was expecting something higher pitch, like a babyish voice. Okay, regen. That running though. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you ain't you ain't gonna be able to do that, my boy. Having the Soul King's army possession. Hey, yo! Reading a book. Oh, old Mayuri? Well, young Mayuri. It's interesting how they have this like all this knowledge just written in like Soul Society archives. Just makes you want to ask more questions, right? Oh, here we go, Bunkai. Bunkai. Love that. Let's go. My ears, I feel like my ears are gonna hurt now. Feet are slapped on the ground. And then born really, really quickly. Forget nine months. The pregnant baby. 
Queen that's the kanji for person, and that's the kanji for like big. And all. Big person. <laughs> I think. To give birth to a new Asasori Jesus. Let's not do I send to it. I feel like that's stupidly broken, but so Mayori, so it's okay, right? A bankai to fit the purpose of any need? Okay. We got a whole Ash Janemba here. That's a crazy C section. A baby made out of nerves. Okay, not as excruciating for the ears as I expected it to be. I separated into 70,000... 70,000 layers of nerves, man. The nerves into it will end up only peeling back an outer layer. Interesting. I mean, I know this from the manga, but still interesting. Okay. That's gotta hurt, man. Oh, lol. Get eaten. And this is the main hand now. Imagine getting eaten by a punkai, bro. He's got no teeth. Babies don't have teeth, but... Man got swallowed whole. What's Nemu thinking? How oh, odd. But what would eating do besides digest, right? But... I feel like that goes against what Mayuri would have wanted, right? Interesting title card. Hmm. That's it? What? What? And apparently there's a change in the ending here somewhere. It should be after... There we go. Yeah, they changed it. And the total end credits is going to be... Interesting. Really? Okay. I have a lot to say about this episode, in fact. Don't chase the shot. Oh, so not Baby Hold Your Hand too. Okay, so very interesting episode of Bleach, Baby Hold Your Hand. I think, you know, it made me want more, which is a great episode in and of itself. It really felt like it was getting somewhere, like it was getting into a really hype moment and then stopped. Which is, I mean, from a from a marketing perspective, it's like, I want to see this next episode. Like, what's going on? Like, I felt like I was being edged every minute of this episode. Like, the edging was coming. And I feel like they gave us a really nice tease with, you know, Mayuri flying through the air and whatnot. As a Wakabayashi storyboard, I believe, to, to be honest, it was pretty standard. There were some good cuts here and there, especially with, again, Mayuri going through the, you know, flying, flying through the air. I wonder if he's going to carry on for part two of Baby Hold Your Hand, or I know it's gonna be a different total name, but for those manga readers that know, you know, right? Obviously this isn't the end. And I feel like maybe they covered maybe 30, 40% of the, of the, of the interaction with Panada. I feel like there's gonna be so much more next episode. And then we got on like, I mean, we had Kyoraku in the last poem, so he was expected to kind of show up for this episode, but he didn't at all. So the fact that we're getting another Kyoraku poem even though we got so much more Baby Hold Your Hand stuff, but the title card is going to be different. I wonder if it's just going to be like a last minute thing with Kyoraku. I don't know, man. It's difficult to, to, to call. Uh, overall, I thought it was, I think, expecting what we had with Renji versus Uryu last week, this episode didn't disappoint. It was just a, it was a teaser. That's how I took this episode. It was definitely something that it was definitely dangling a piece of fruit you wanted to eat, but you're not going to get it, right? But it, it's like, it's set itself up as like, okay, like I'm invested to see where this fight's going to go. Not only did you get the alienization that this isn't a person, but this is a hand. So how is a hand going to fight? So I feel you're already alienating the viewers by saying like, we're fighting a hand, but also we're getting to see a new Mayuri Bankai that can adapt and then that's it. Like, it's like, okay, Mayuri's just gone Bankai. And it's like, really? You've left us on this weird cliffhanger. And I don't know if it works. But for me, I feel like the, the purpose was to make you invested. And that's what it definitely did. And I think, you know, showing the Byakia. It's not Byakia. The Kenpachi, his arm twisting. You know, I think there was a good amount of blood in it. They changed a few things at the start before revealing that it was a hand. Um, and the voice actor for... 
Peninda wasn't exactly something I expected, but I'm, I feel like a higher pitched voice would have been more appropriate, but I'm not, it works, I think. It just, it's, it sounds very old and very wise, even though Panida, or Paninda himself throughout the manga is something that advances throughout the fight and gains more knowledge and is able to speak more clearly. So mm, it's, it's, it's a good voice actor. I think, uh, you know, if I had it my way, I would have said start out with like a childish voice that then grew deeper and deeper and deeper as he was like learning knowledge. I would have said that would have gone good too. But I think, I think, again, I'm not going to nitpick voice actors. I think it's, it's good. It's great. Sounds very menacing. Sounds very dangerous. And I think what they did with Panida and Mayuri has seemed a little bit one-sided. So currently... I think the interest levels are up. And the fact that the fight's not done, I think, is telling people that, yeah, like, Mayuri is not going to win this fight so easily. And maybe if you're not a manga reader, and, and I'll, I'll be seeing what people's anime reactions are going to be, maybe they think that the fight is over, right? Like, this guy, he's a royal guard, you know, of, of Yuha, he's a royal guard, and he gets defeated that easily. I think that that's the perception that this episode is trying to go. So overall, I enjoyed the episode. Not much on like that Uriu Renji feel, which is understandable. They've probably gone for a more laid back, relaxed, but next episode. I'm really interested how they're going to tie it together, especially when they're throwing Kyoaku in there too. So I think they can do it, obviously. I don't think we're going to get extra... We are going to get extra scenes. We're going to get extra scenes with Akon and Nemu. So... Yeah, I'm a, I'm, we are going to get extra scenes. So I'm, I'm very, I'm very interested and very excited to see what they do next episode. Great starter, great startup episode or, or setup episode. I think it was really good. And we got some really good direction too. Wakabayashi, I can't see, I, I can't personally say that I see the hype with him at the moment. But as storyboards go, this is, it was, it was, the, the scenes that were good were very good. However, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way. But these, he zooms in on shots way too much. Like I want to see the hand being ripped off. Not like obviously you saw the hand being ripped off, but like it was a little bit almost. I mean, it was in the frame, but it was almost off screen. And I just felt like there was. I just felt like there was. It's a. I, I don't know. Is it a Wakabayashi trait? I don't know. But anyway, I cannot wait for next episode. This one was good setup. I'm intrigued. I'm invested. I'm looking forward to it. It felt quick. I didn't like that it felt quick, but I'm glad we got to see the CG of Panida. And you know what? I have no complaints about it. I think the alien. I think the reason why it doesn't look as a part is because of the highlights, right? I think the highlights is the thing that makes it stand out rather than the CGI itself. But overall, I understand why it's CG. And Panida is a very unnatural being. And going back from the interviews of like the past before Core 3 started is that they want to make CG for very specific things that look alienating or unnatural in the Bleach world, which Panida is. Uh, will they do it with Gerard Valkyrie? Probably not. I think Gerard will be used as CG maybe in his light mode, where he's pure light, which isn't for that long anyway. So, but I don't, I don't see, I don't see Gerard being, being CG, but who knows? Who knows, man? I thought it was a good episode, I thought it looked good, and I think people, especially online, if you want to complain about CG, I feel like you, you're just being a bit harsh for no reason. When there's been CG in every single Bleach episode, but no one no one ever mentioned it. I thought it looked good, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited for next week. Uh, tell me what your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below are. With that being said, I'm going to catch more folks that you guys, of course, have this fine, that been Hanson, as always, people, peace out.